Hello YouTube, Proxy here, and oh man, what a crazy week it's been. There has been so many new game announcements and I'm desperately trying to get some spare time around work to catch up with them all. But let's talk about dark and light news. Okay, so there has been a lot of speculation as to why the price of Ark Survival Evolved suddenly went up by a large amount of money on Steam. A lot of people have theories, but honestly, I think the logic behind this move and the ulterior motive is pretty simple. For those that don't know, the creators of Ark, Wildcard Studios, is owned by Snail. Myself and Croy of the Dark and Light Community Discord discovered this months ago, while digging around for information on Dark and Light. Now, Dark and Light is releasing soon, and mechanically, this game is very similar to Ark, boasting a lot of the same features and gameplay elements, and is indeed also made on the same engine variant. So here we have two games, basically both essentially owned by Snail, one is older, but directly competes with their new title. So what has Snail done? Well obviously they've raised the price of the original, which in turn will help boost sales of of their new flagship game, Dark and Light. And it's a pretty smart business move to be honest. Why buy Ark for a lot of hard cash when you can buy Dark and Light's early access for a fraction of the cost, with newer and fresher content? So if you have been wondering why Ark Survival Evolved jumped up in price, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, this is the sole reason for it. Anyway, in other news, and possibly the biggest news for Dark and Light this year, the game is finally releasing. Yes, that's right, Dark and Light is releasing on the 20th of July, and will cost roughly around $30. Why did they suddenly decide to release the game with no prior announcement? And what happened to the Wave 2 closed beta test? Well, a lot of community members believe Snail felt pressured to release Dark and Light due to the appearance of another game that is extremely similar in design to Dark and Light. And that game is Citadel Forged with Fire, which is being released on the 26th of July. And this seems to have made Snail panic, essentially cancelling the second wave of closed beta and pushing out early access in response. So yeah, this is pretty much it. This is a short news update. All of you been waiting to play this game for years and finally get to do so, and I hope it meets all your expectations. Well guys, this is just a short news update. I'm currently working on my first impression of Citadel and hope to have it uploaded during the 19th. Maybe it will help you decide what game you will play if you're on the fence. Or you could just get both. Or neither. If you enjoy these news updates, don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always guys, thanks for watching.